They used to grab us to, to forced labor. And if you were lucky, they let you go after home after you did the work. They closed off the streets. Uh, they let you go home. Otherwise, they grabbed you, they sent you, they sent you to the labor camps. While I was in the ghetto, the first couple of years I was in the, uh, I was in the, not even a couple of years, I shouldn't say a couple of years. Maybe it was a couple of years. I was a, I used to work for a, for a uh, factory that was building uh, furniture, the, uh, children's, uh, for children's rooms, children's furniture, and they, they shipped that all to Germany. Uh, then uh, they send us out, uh, uh, they send me to, to labor camp, and there I did the hardest work of my life. And I was a strong kid. They used to take us out uh, in this small forest, and they cut down the the trees. We had to dig up the roots. Now, you try to remove roots from full-grown trees without tools. You know what they do here? They take chains. They dig under, they take chains with tractors and they pull it. Heavy equipment. We had to do it with a, uh, with a shovel. You were lucky if you had a pick. And if you're luckier yet, if you had a two by four so you could wedge it up. That was hard work. Without all this heavy equipment, the burgomaster or the, the mayor of town that they want to build a bunker in the mountain. Sure enough, it was a granite mountain. So who did they call? They went to the camp to get the poor suckers, come and drill a hole in the mountain. Carrying cement, even three, three sacks of cement and one clip wasn't as hard as this. And I did both. So this was the hardest work.